Let's we'll start with giving you an update uh, on the performance of the market today. The NSE All Share Index up 0.83%, closing at 35,782. Now, this represents a year to date performance of 27.43%. Total value traded down 9.25% to 4.6 billion. Total volume traded went up 0.38 to 392 million units. Now, we saw gains in Nestle, Guinness, Unilever, Nigerian breweries, losses in Julius Berger, um, GTB, NACO. Now, joining us to discuss the activities in the equities market, we have Dayo Ayani equity research at CSL Stockbrokers. Dio, it's great to have you on the show. Let's start by discussing uh, the, the, uh, the performance of the market today. Of course, lots of analysts expected the rally to continue in today's session uh, as we see sustained interest in large cap counters. So your thoughts on the performance today? Um, thank you very much for having me. Um, the market today gained a three basis points, just like you rightly said, mm -hmm. and was driven largely by um, gains in the large cap consumer names such as Nigerian breweries, Guinness, um, Flamels of Nigeria, Unilever, as well as Cadbury. Okay, now let's quickly move on to Q1 results from Dangote Sugar Out. Revenue up 1.9% to 27.6 billion. Profit after tax up 23.2% to 3.5 billion. Give us your thoughts on the results. Um, I think um, the result by Dangote Sugar is, in a, is an impressive one, um, given the fact that last year um, it was just a standalone company and the reporting for Q1 2013 that we just you know, received was for the group as well, considering the acquisition of Savannah Sugar. Um, while taking into cognizance the fact that um, top line hardly moved um, in terms of company, um, but uh, profit declined just marginally because the company soaked in about 351 million of administrative costs from the acquisition of Savannah. Okay, now we saw the market react to the result to stock down 0.4%. Which is um, certainly surprising. It looks like, of course, the market has not responded positively to that news. Do you expect to see a change going forward? Um, yes, I do, because, um, and this has to do with the reporting by the company. Um, the first column that you have right there in the re result that was released talked about the group, then the other three columns that follows um, mentions company. Um, just comparing them side by side, you think that there was a decline in EPS, but actually it's the reverse. Um, mm -hmm. The 22% year on year increase has to compare the company numbers for last year and the group companies for, for the current period. Now, when we look at stocks in the, that food product sector, um, most of them declined in trading today. Dangote, Flower, Honeywell, Nascon all down. In fact, besides uh, Flower Mill, most of them went down. So it looks like, of course, that uh, sector has not responded well to the results. So going forward, what are your expectations for the sector? Um, I expect some of those stocks that you mentioned now to pay back the losses that we saw today. Um, and that is just on the back of the fact that some of these companies haven't released their Q1 numbers as yet. Um, and Dangote Sugar, once, I, once I, I believe that once the market takes into cognizance the issues that I mentioned in terms of um, how you interpret the numbers, that um, the loss that we saw today would be reversed as well. I'd like to move on to the brewery sector. Nigerian breweries recently announcing that it will maintain 60-40 ratio, uh, of course, uh, paying out 60% of its profits. Now, give us some more insight into this. Um, okay, this statement was made by the CFO of um, Nigerian Brewery at the 2012 um, analyst presentation that was held at um, at a hotel somewhere in Lagos. Um, so the 60% um, dividend payout that you saw that was you know mentioned in, in dailies for today um, was in reaction to a question by a pressman, and that is just on the back of the fact that the company has some um, expansion plans for the rest of the year, mm. um, and that also runs into 2014. And this is basically its expansion of its above plan by a factor of two. is increasing that capacity by 100%. Okay, Dio. So needs a tighter management of capital. Yeah. Dio, now very, very quickly, we saw that stop go up 2.1%. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that in relation to the news? Yes, uh, yes. Um, the, the stock went up 3.5% um, today. And that's just because um, after talking to management, you get the sense that the initial um, feel for the stock that we had prior to them presenting us the numbers yesterday wasn't quite um, the exact case because the company said, um, Heineken in its trading update for Q1 had said that volume declined in Nigeria by about 5%. But just talking to management yesterday, you, you get the sense that um, the company has that under control right now and that going forward that they expect to see volumes recover. Okay, Dio, let's leave it there. Thanks for coming on the show. That was, Thank of course, Dio Ayani, Equity Research at CSL Stockbrokers.